Okay, welcome everybody to the call. I'm super excited to be here with you tonight. My name is Eric Johnson. I'm the creator and CEO of TeamZ. And uh, we're going to have some fun tonight. So tonight I want to teach you how to systemize um, your success with relationship marketing so you can become a power hour boss. Okay, I'm going to show you TeamZ, which is, if you haven't seen it yet, it's a CRM software specifically made for people in direct sales. You're going to love it. And what it does is it helps you be incredibly efficient with your time. You can get all of your income producing activities done in less than an hour a day. So you have plenty of time to go have a great life. Make sense? Okay. So I'll show you how to do that. But not only does it make you efficient, it actually leads you through a system, teaches you how to do it, who to connect with, what to say to them, how to follow up with them. Um, you can be confident that you're doing the right things to build your business and you can duplicate easily with new people coming onto your team that they'll know what to do with their business too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through first a little training on how to systemize your success with relationship marketing. Then I'll take you into Teams and show you how to set it up. We'll do a power hour together. I'll show you how easy it is to do. And then let's do a um, Q&A at the end. So if you have questions for me, there, um, just hold those. And then at the end, um, you know, we'll just have a conversation. You can ask me questions. I'll be happy to answer them. All right, let's do this. So here we go. Systemize your success with relationship marketing to become a power hour boss. By the way, you guys are going to be so excited after this call. You're going to start using this hashtag to describe yourself, which is great. So my backstory for those of you who, who haven't met me, um, I'm actually, uh, my background is in uh, business coaching and consulting. I've been a business coach for 16 years, helping people build their business. I fell into direct sales accidentally a few years ago. I'm, I'm probably the same for some of you. I found some products that really helped me. I was excited about them. I just started sharing them organically, naturally. And, um, and I wasn't really thinking about the business opportunity. I had a full-time career, four kids. I was busy. Um, but when I did look at it, I thought, wow, this is kind of cool. I mean, I might as well be getting paid for this. I'm, getting, I'm doing it anyway, sharing it. My problem was, was I only had about an hour a day to work. And I just knew that I didn't have a lot of time to devote to the business. So I started looking for tools that would help me leverage my time. That's the first thing I would tell you if you hired me with this problem as a consultant. So I started looking for the tools. I figured, you know, there's 35 million people in the U.S. doing direct sales. So there's got to be tools. Couldn't find anything, at least, not, nothing, at least nothing that I would actually use that was simple enough for me to use. So um, long story short, that's why Teamsy exists. I, I was like, we got to have this. We built it. All right. So just to kind of give you background on Teamsy before we jump into this, Teamsy's been out available for just over three years. Um, we started Teamsy with a $200 Facebook ad. <laughs> and it's kind of just taken off by word of mouth. We've had over more than 80,000 network marketers use it in the last three years, which is amazing. And our active users, people using the system actively, as I'll show you tonight, they're averaging 21 new customers and nine recruits over 90 days, which is pretty good. Imagine how that would look over the year compounded for your business. All right, so let's dive in. Let's get right back into this um, presentation. What is relationship marketing? Relationship marketing. A lot of people think that this is just, you know, um, hold on a second, guys. I can't see any of your faces. It's freaking me out. Let me try this again. It's so, isn't it hard to present to a blank screen? Usually it shows me your faces on the side. That's so strange. Hmm. I see faces. I see everybody's face over on my side. Oh, that's so weird that I don't. All right. Well, just, just keep smiling at me and I'll pretend I can see them. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about relationship marketing. People think that this is just selling stuff to your friends. It's like, you know, oh, it's all nice. It's all about relationships. It's kind of a buzzword that you hear people saying all the time. But I want you guys to understand that relationship marketing is a genuine lead generation system. And that's a system that initiates consumer interest or inquiry into the products or services of a business. Kind of a boring definition. But as business owners, you need to understand that lead generation is your business. As the owner of the business, that's the business you're in is lead generation. So you need to figure out which lead generation system works for you. Okay, I'm going to talk to you tonight about what I feel is the most effective and most fun one, which is relationship marketing. So here's the cool thing. You're in the lead generation business. Here's the next principle. Developing and deepening relationships is your paramount duty as a business owner. Developing and deepening relationships is your paramount duty as a business owner. In other words, you need to meet people so you can build relationships with them. That's what you do as a business owner. 
Just about everywhere else you go for training, they'll tell you you need to meet people so you can get sales. But I'm here to tell you that getting relationships gets you more than one sale, gets you multiple sales, okay? Because what we do with relationship marketing is we turn relationships into advocates by investing time and providing outstanding service. We turn relationships into advocates by investing time and providing outstanding service, okay? An advocate is a walking, talking billboard for our business. They're excited about what we're doing and they're sharing it with people for us. All right, so next principle I wanna share with you. Relationship marketing depends on trust. Relationship marketing depends on trust. In other words, if you're a jerk, this ain't gonna work. You know, and, and this industry, is it true that this industry kind of has a reputation that's not always good? Because there's a lot of people out there doing things that aren't really nice or they're doing things that are a little tricky or shady. But with relationship marketing, you can't get away with any of that stuff. It all depends on trust, which means you get to be authentic, you get to be you, you get to be natural, you get to be uh, heartfelt and soulful in your business. The thing that I love about trust is, Trust makes the work fun. If people trust you even just a tiny bit, you don't have to convince them. You can get right to helping them, right? And also there's no ickiness. Like you never feel like an icky salesperson when you build trust. You get to just talk to people and just be normal and natural with them. And you get to go for yes. You get to go for yes with relationship marketing. And I don't know if you guys as a team have heard people talking about going for no or you just got to get more no's to get more yeses. And if that felt weird to you, it's because it's a bunch of baloney. It's a bunch of baloney. You don't need to get, no's don't help you get yeses. That's why I'm going to teach you how to approach people so that you get yeses instead of no's, okay? So how do you build trust? How do you do it? I'll share with you quickly the four essential ingredients to building trust. If you guys are taking notes, this is a good time to write some stuff down. Let me go through them quickly and then I'll explain them out to you. Number one is chemistry, okay, chemistry. Number two is character, character. Number three is Competence, competence. Number four is consistency. Chemistry, character, competence, consistency. All right? <clears throat> All right, chemistry. Chemistry is where you have common ground with someone. What is it about you they can relate to? Okay, chemistry is where you have common ground with someone. What is it about you they can relate to? Bottom line, people want to do business with friends. They don't want to do business with someone they don't like. Your job is to figure out what you have in common with people so you can get to helping them, right? Ask questions, be interested, find out what you have in common. Here's the, here's the thing, I don't know if you guys know this, you might, you actually have a lot in common with everybody. If you take a second to listen, you'll find it out. Number two is character. Character is when you demonstrate how much you care and that you're relatable, okay? Character is when you demonstrate how much you care and that you are relatable. I want you to notice something about this definition you don't have character. You don't have character. We think it's something we have. You don't have it, it's something you do. Character is something you do. And so when we think that we have character and we get offended if someone questions our character, we need to remind ourselves that it's about what we're showing. Are we showing care for this person? And character is 100% how you demonstrate care for other people. It's others focused. And if you want people to do business with you, they, people do business, with you based on the character they see in your business. And so I just want you guys as business owners to remember, it's everything. It's not just how you handle customers or follow through on leads, how you conduct your business. It's also how you park your car, <laughs> how you treat people who serve you out in the world. Everybody's watching all the time and we have to be focused on character. And, and just think about this. It's also like how you post on social media is everything you're doing focused on demonstrating the care you have for other people. And when you do that, people will know. They'll know who you are and they'll know that they want to do business with you. Number three is competence. Number three is competence. Competence is when you demonstrate you're good at what you do and you're a business person. Okay, competence is when you demonstrate you're good at what you do and you're a business person. There's two pieces to this in our business. The first is... Are you good with your product? Do you understand it? Are you able to help me? Can you solve problems with your product? Do you know what you're talking about? Do I feel confident being your customer? The second piece of this is, do I believe you can mentor me in this business? Do I see you as somebody who I would like to join in the business? Right? And it's our job to demonstrate that competence. Even when you're brand new, you need to start demonstrating your journey to gain it, what you're learning, who you're being mentored by. And here's the thing I want to I encourage new people. 
if you're new, I don't want you to pretend you have confidence you don't. Never fake it. People can see right through that. But what you do want to do is introduce people to your mentors. Tell people who your upline is. Tell people how amazing they are so they understand that you are connected to the confidence. Does this make sense? So they understand if they join you, they're joining the confidence of the team. Um, that's really important as you go. Okay. And for those of you leaders who are competent, the question is, are you demonstrating that to others? Do people, are people constantly seeing that so they know that it's there? Okay. Before I move on to number four, there's an underlying principle for these that I just want to touch on before I go on to number four. And it's this, when people want to do business with you, they really only care about three things. They really only care about three things. Can I trust you? Do you care about me? And are you good at what you do? Can I trust you? Do you care about me? Are you good at what you do? By the way, when people feel in their heart that all three of these questions are yes, you've got an advocate. You've got an advocate. They'll buy whatever you have. They'll do whatever you ask because they trust you and they know that you've got their best interest at heart. Okay, number four is consistency. Consistency. We know that consistency is where it's at when it comes to being successful, right? Consistency. <clears throat> it's so important. How many of you have kids? Is it important to be consistent, to build trust? Yeah, it's the most important thing. And so many times people will say, oh, trust me. And it's like, trust you what? I want to see you. I want to watch you. You'll find in this business too that a lot of people, especially our friends and family, want to watch for a while and see how consistent, how good we are before they join, right? I love this principle that people respect consistency and desire it for themselves. People respect consistency and desire it for themselves. This is the thing. Consistency builds trust, yes, but it also is attractive to people. They want to be around it. They want to be, you know, it, it makes them want to join your team when they see you being consistent and doing the things you need to do to be successful. By the way, just to give credit where credit is due, this um, principle is from a great book. I'll recommend it if you haven't read it. It's called Influence the Psychology of Persuasion. Influence the Psychology of Persuasion. It's a great one. Add that to your list. It's also an audible. Uh, so it's kind of dry here and there because it's like a social science book, but the principles in it are unreal as far as learning how people are wired and how to help influence them to help them. Okay. Just real quick on this, since I can't see your faces and I want to make sure that there's still people on the call. Hi, everyone. <laughs> now I see you again. How many of you would say you're consistent? I mean, you're consistent. You share your products. You're, you're sharing the business. How many of you guys would say you're pretty consistent about that? Social media, consistent, posting and sharing. Yeah, somewhat. Okay, well, if you're doing this, that means that you're already communicating to me your intention is to be more consistent, right? But here's the real, the real question. Are you consistent about staying in touch with people? connecting with people. And it's okay if the answer is no right now. That's why you're watching the Teamsy guy, right? Because you're Say that one more time. Help. Are you consistent staying in touch with people, connecting with people? Okay. And this is where the rubber hits the road. I'm going to pop back to my um, presentation real quick. This is where the rubber hits the road because relationship building is a contact sport. We have to be in regular contact with people if you want a relationship with them. Okay. It's important. I know your time is scarce, which by the way, it's okay. That's why we built Teams. It's going to let you do it in seconds, but I want you to understand this principle and then we'll jump into Teams. Investing time and connecting with people is the only way to deepen relationships. Investing time and connecting with people is the only way to deepen relationships. Okay. Did you guys get that one? Investing time and connecting with people is the only way to deepen relationships. Really quick before I jump uh, into Teamsy, let me just ask you guys a question. How many of you have ever received a great card or letter from somebody you care about that had a handwritten message that was amazing? It just touched your heart. Have you guys ever received a great card? Hopefully everybody, right? So when you get a card like that, are you able to take it and just put it in the trash can after you've read it? <laughs> Nobody, I got 100% knows. You guys save those somewhere. You have like a pile or a drawer full of the great, just the really good ones, right? That you've saved. Yeah. Has anyone moved in the last few years? Have you ever noticed how when you move, you're like, should I take these? No, I can't throw them away. They, they move with you. 
it's kind of amazing. I'm, I'm amazed by how much we value these. The truth is, is that if you go tonight to your secret stash of cards and letters and pull one at random from the pile tonight and read it, I bet it impacts you deeper than it did the last time you read it. It's kind of crazy how they increase in value. Um, and then the other thing is, is when we pass away, what's most treasured usually by our family are those, our cards and letters, aren't they? I bet some of you may even have something like that from somebody you love that's passed on. Now, that's a great example of a connection. Now, here's another example. Can you guys see this? This is a happy birthday postcard that I got from my life insurance salesperson. Have you guys ever received one of these happy birthday postcards for your birthday from somebody you do business with or, yeah. Let me ask you something. When you get these, or do you have any problem throwing, do these go in the trash or do you save these? These go right in the trash, right? Do you guys put these in the special place? <laughs> no way, nobody saves these. The only reason I still have it is to make fun of it on this call. But I want, I'm using it to make an example for you guys because the only way to deepen a relationship is to connect with people and invest time. This is a bulk mailing. My name's not even on it, by the way. It's just like a hey you type thing. It's not personal. It's not a personal connection. It's bulk. And it requires no time to send this. There's no investment of time. That's why we put no value on it. Does this make sense? Now, the cards that we were talking about, and you guys all thought of a couple that, that moved you. Somebody invested undivided attention and wrote that message just to you. It's a personal connection that required time. We value it above anything else. We can't get rid of it. Isn't that amazing? It's important that you understand that what this does for people when you invest time and connect personally. This is an example of, of something that um, is a very sexy term in our, in our industry, marketing automation. Have you guys heard marketing automation? Doesn't it sound great? How many of you wish you could automate your marketing for the business? But this is what marketing automation feels like for the recipient. It's impersonal. It requires no time and it's not valued. Now, this bulk mailing that my insurance person does every year probably gets him a little bit of business. I bet he makes a profit on it, right? But would you build your business this way? No way, because it's not valued by people. Okay, so do you need to be writing cards and letters all day long to make connections with people? No. Is it a good idea to do it whenever you can think of a reason to? Yes, because I'll save it forever, right? But I will show you how you can connect with somebody via text message or Facebook Messenger or, or direct message on any other app. And just by investing a few seconds, really make their day. And that's where, where it's at in this business. And if we could get you doing that 20 times a day, with 20 different people in an efficient way, think about the momentum you could build in your business. So I'll show you that in a second. Let me just dive back in here and finish off this last slide. So there was that, there's, this was the principle again, investing time and connecting with people is the only way to deepen relationships, okay? And you just gotta remember that, that that is where it's at. Okay, so here's the thing though, you need a system to do this. You gotta have a system. You gotta have a system. You need a way to stay in contact with all your relationships because every single one of them is connected to hundreds of people, right, that need your product. You need to know when to contact them and when not to contact them. In other words, the system would just tell you, contact these people today. Know what you're going to say so you don't stare at the screen all day, stuck in analysis paralysis, trying to figure out the perfect message, something to say that you can get going, and then make sure that nobody falls through the cracks. So many people falling through the cracks in our industry. I'm going to teach you tonight how to do it without letting anybody fall through the cracks. Okay, so let's jump out of this real quick and go to Teamsy. First off, if you're not already using Teamsy, you go to teamsy.com and click start a free trial. We, we give you a 30 day free trial, no strings attached. We don't ask for credit card or anything. You can just get in there and use it for 30 days. Make sure you choose the pure romance version um, from the drop down, so you get the customized version and you're in for 30 days, okay? So when you first log into your free trial, this is the page you'll land on. This is the beginning of the setup wizard. It's just designed to make setting this up super easy. I'm really not a tech guy. I'm a, I, I help people build their business. So I needed this, this system to be simple, okay? So there's a little video for me, we'll skip that. First thing you're gonna really do in Teamsy is set your income goal. Set your income goal, okay? How much money do you wanna be earning a year from now? 
So you can just, whatever you want that to be, you just slide the slider, okay? So I had my goal at 150,000, okay? So now here's the cool thing. With Teams, you know exactly what to do to get to your goal because we've worked with enough people, we know what it takes. So what we need to do to get to 150,000 a year from now is my daily work is to connect with nine prospects, six customers, and four consultants. That's 19 people a day. By the way, that's only five days a week. Okay, 19 people a day, five days a week, which I could do in Teams in less than 30 minutes. And I'll demonstrate that, that to you in a second. All right, great. So let's hit continue. The next step is to get all of your contacts into Teamsy so that you'll be super mega organized. Okay, there's no more like looking for um, spreadsheets or pads of paper or sticky notes or wherever you've got people all over the place now. They'll be in one place. You'll get your back office people in here. You're gonna get your Facebook friends in here. You're gonna get your phone contacts in here. Everyone will be in Teamsy. And Teamsy lives in the um, cloud, which means it's always in your phone, it's on your computer, it's in your friend's phone. You're always gonna have Teamsy available to you. So you'll always have that contact information ready and you can always add new people in all the time. Okay. So now we're gonna kind of do this. Hold on one second, you guys. I gotta figure out how. Where did your faces go? It's driving me crazy. I can't see you while I'm presenting. Just bear with me. Let me see if, I, if you're under here somewhere. <laughs> I've got too many windows open. Maybe we're just sneaky that way. Yeah, it's hard for me to talk to myself. All right, this will be worth it. So does Teamsy have an app for your phone? It has a mobile is website that, that works just like an app. Um, we're working on an app now just because people are like, where's the app? But it, we, we built a website that works perfectly. Um, well, I guess it's just not going to let me see that extra window. Oh, well. I'm just going to muscle through it. Here we go. Oh, wow. Let's look in here. Let's try this again. All right. So we're on Teamsy. Here we go. One more thing to do for setup. So we've got our contacts in there. We've got our goals set, right? Nine prospects, six customers, four consultants. That's based on my goal of 150,000. There's two additional goals I'll highlight real quick. The next goal is invites. I've got a goal to do three of those a day. <clears throat> Just to let you know what that is, an invite is when I'm talking to somebody about the business. I'm inviting them to join me or inviting them to buy my products. I'm only doing those three times a day out of 19 conversations, okay? Because I'm not just gonna invite people who I don't know are interested. First, I'm gonna have a conversation, find out who's interested, and then I'm gonna invite those people. Does this make sense? This approach allows me to get yeses and not noes, but it still allows me to put 15 people in my pipeline every week at this, at this level. Make sense? My last goal is ads. These are just new people I'm adding to my list. Putting new people in Teamsy every day, a couple people. As I meet people online, meet people in person, or I remember somebody that's not there, I put them in Teamsy, right? Just like a really good discipline. So now we're ready to do our power hour. We just have one more setup step I wanna talk about quickly. And that is, you notice that everyone on my list has a number rank next to their names. This is their star rating. I'm gonna jump over to the team page and show you this. So the team page is where your whole list lives. Everybody's there, all your contacts are there, okay? And you can sort them by prospects, customers, or consultants, okay? All right, or you can do all. Now, notice that when I click on somebody, it shows me their star rating, okay? This is a real simple system we use to prioritize our relationships. It's super important that you do this, though, because if you don't prioritize your relationships, your team's is just going to bring them up in random order. You want to make sure that you have your best people coming up first and that they come back more often. So we use a real simple, real simple rating scale. Let me show you how to do this. You can actually do it all at once with rank mode right here. And so what you'll do is you'll come in and you'll just skim your list. Notice how everybody's a three star. They all come in as a three star. And so you don't have to rank them all. You just have to find your four and five star, your favorite people and rank them. And the way you do it is you just come through and you just click it, okay? If, oh, I like this guy, okay, he's a four. Oh, this one's a five. No, actually I don't like him, he's a two. See how easy it is? Okay, so let me talk to you really quick about what these ranks mean so you understand how to use this. A five star is somebody most likely to become a customer or consultant, in your opinion. Or they're an existing customer or consultant that's a rock star. Five star people are your best friends, your favorite people. 
Okay, you're, they're your favorite people. They're gonna come on your list every 30 days automatically. They come back every 30 days and they're, they're gonna be their first ones on your list, okay? Um, you don't have to set follow-ups, you don't have to do anything. They just come back every 30 days to keep you in touch with them, okay? And all we're gonna do when they come up is we're gonna connect. We call them connects because that's what I want you to do. Just connect with them, say hello, try to make their day, okay? A four-star person is somebody likely to become a customer or consultant with a little bit of nurturing. Or they might be an existing customer or consultant that's solid, you know? These are your friends and family, just not your closest circle. Four-star people come back on your list automatically every 60 days. Okay, so you don't have to think about it. You don't have to worry about them ever falling through the cracks. As long as you're using Team D, they're gonna come back on your list. Three stars could go either way. That's why most of the people on your list are three stars. Three star people show up on the list every 90 days. Okay, every 90 days. And then two stars are getting a bit colder. They show up every 120 days. Does this make sense? The more stars, they come up first and more often, okay? And this lets you cycle through your list automatically in an intelligent way while nurturing the closest relationships the most, but at the same time still bringing along those colder relationships and warming them up. Okay, so let's toggle back to the dashboard and show you how this works. Now we're all set up, we're gonna do our power hour. This little section here in the center of the screen is designed to help you do this super efficiently. So guys, I just want you to know something. Once you've set this up like we just did, you never have to do it again. You never have to think. You never have to plan. You just log into Teamsy and get going. You don't. Need, you could do it on your phone or your computer. You come in. You see who's up next, and you message that person. Okay. So I'm gonna. I've got four lists here: prospects, customers, consultants, and my follow-ups list. Okay. The right-hand side is where I log the message as I do it. First person on my list is Valerie. I'm gonna message her to say hello. Now, if you're like me and you get stuck, oh my gosh, what am I gonna say? then I want you just to use my scripts. I have a scripts library built into Teamsy. It's free for you to use, it's included. There's a hundred of my best scripts in here. These aren't salesy scripts, they're just conversational scripts. So click on scripts and just grab one. <clears throat> I'll take the first one on the list. Connect number one, this is what it says. Hi Jane, just stopping by to say hello. How are you? Hope your day is awesome. So simple, I'm gonna copy that script, okay? I'll paste it in Teamsy so I can change the name. Obviously the name's not correct. Every once in a while, you'll get a Jane and you'll be so excited because you don't have to change the name. <laughs> so change the name and any customization you want to do, just don't overthink it, okay? I'm going to put some emoticons in here. Hold on, get a little smiley face, maybe a little high 10. All right, now I've got it just the way I want it, okay? So what I'll do is I'm going to copy this because I'm going to message her in Facebook. Now you can communicate however you want. Teams, you can log anything just about. I like Facebook Messenger because the response rate is super great. Hold on, even if you can't type. There she is. Okay. Send message. See how easy this is? Send. I know you guys know how to send a Facebook message, but my point is, is I just use that Teamsy script. Now watch, I log this in Teamsy. That was a Facebook message. Hit the blue button that says log connect, done. See, I've got one done, eight left. Next person on my list is Jay. I'm gonna use the same script. It's already on my clipboard, just paste it in there. Change the name to Jay. There she is, ready to go. I've already got my emoticons in there. I'm ready to go. I'm just gonna copy this and send it over. Do you guys see, this is so easy, right? Send the message. There it is, send. Okay, done. Log it in Teamsy, log connect, boom, next one, friend show. I'm just gonna go down this list and send these messages until I hit my goal for the day. In this case, it's nine, okay? Every time I send one, that person disappears off my list and the list slides up one notch. This keeps me focused, I can't get overwhelmed. There's only five names at a time, I just do whoever's next, okay? When, that's, when I'm done with my nine prospect connects, that circle will be all the way blue, and then I'll just go to the next list, which is customers, I'll start connecting, connecting with my customers, okay? First customer that comes up is Dionisio, great. Let's get a script, connect with him. 
All right, see if there's some great customer scripts here. Here's one, uh, how are you enjoying the product? Send me an update, let me know I can be of help, great. So fill in, take out products, fill in the products they got. Or my favorite one for customers, this one, it's just so simple. Hi Jane, just checking in to see if there's anything I can do to make your day, okay? So you just get the script that you like and message it over. It does, you don't overthink this, get the name right, okay? Dionisio, did I spell that right? It's a cool name, isn't it? Smiley. Okay, you get the idea. And then I can send that via Facebook Messenger, text, whatever. And once I've sent it, I log it in Teamsy and I send I go to Joby, the next person on my list. <clears throat> Just work your way down the list. Now, quick, quick pro tip on this. Some people will respond immediately. I don't want you to have the conversation yet. Get all your outgoing messages done first or you'll get sidetracked, okay? So it'll just motivate you to get them done quicker when you know you've got somebody excited to talk to you. The second little pro tip on this is don't worry about the people who don't respond. About half of the people won't respond. That's okay. They still get the message. Even if they don't open it, they still get it in most cases and see it. They're just busy or whatever. Don't worry about it because they're in Teamsy. They're going to come back automatically. 30, 60, 90 days, depending on your star rating, they're just gonna come back and you can message them again, okay? So you're gonna be, you're gonna be busy with the ones who do respond. I just don't want you to worry about the non-responders, okay? All right, <clears throat> so now we're messaging our customers. I just wanna talk to you real quick about this. I know you guys know how important it is to prospect, but I want you to understand that connecting with customers is as important as prospecting. A customer, is worth 100 prospects because they already have trusted you enough to give you money, right? You're not talking to them about what you're, you're not convincing them or selling them, they're already a customer. They've already said, I'm in. So you wanna stay in touch with them, you wanna stay connecting to them because here's what happens when you're in regular contact with a customer. And I'm not talking about messaging them every month and asking them if they wanna buy something. I mean, just staying in contact, just connecting. What happens is when you're in regular contact is they order more products and they retain longer as customers. They order more products and retain longer. This is a statistical fact. If you're in touch with customers on a regular basis, they order more products and retain longer. Okay. How many of you want that? <laughs> yeah, and for your whole team, right? The other thing that happens is, can you think of one customer who's just fantastic, you just love this person and, and you'd like more like that customer? Who's got somebody like that? Yeah. Where do you go find those people? Where do you go find those? Do you know? <laughs> if you knew, you wouldn't be listening to me tonight, <laughs> right? Here's, here's the secret. The best place to find those people is from your current customer. Your current customer is the best place. Think about it. When, when somebody has something that they love, they talk about it. They talk about it. They tell other people about it, right? So look, here's what's happening right now. Your customer that you thought of is probably already talking about your stuff with a friend or a couple of friends, sharing it. People are, the, the statistic is this, people say they're, 86% um, of people say they're, they make their buying decisions based on a friend's recommendation. That sounds about right, right? So you've got customers talking to their friends about your products. They're pretty likely to buy it based on that recommendation. The question is this, are you getting introduced to those people? Are you getting introduced to those people? And so I want you to know that asking for referrals is a total waste of time. Don't ask people to refer your business. Ask people to introduce you to the people they're talking to. Get introduced, not referred. It's a big difference, right? It's a big difference. So when you're checking in with them, say, you know, I'm sure you've, I know you're enjoying the products. It's an especially fun conversation with what you guys, with what you guys represent. <laughs> I'm sure you're enjoying the products, you know, and, and probably have talked about it with a friend or so. Who do, you, who do you know or who do you care about that needs more information on this? I want to make sure I don't leave any of your friends and family hanging. Have you talked to anybody about this? Is there anybody that, that needs, needs more info from me? And then if they say yes, say great. Could you just introduce me to them? Whatever's easier for you, like a group text or group email, just introduce them to me so I can get them the info. That way you get it done right there, right? Right there. Now you've got the new person, you start a relationship with them, friend them, start connecting with them, working on making their day, seeing if they're in, what they're interested in, what information they need, and build trust with them over time. 
Make sense? Okay. By the way, when that customer gives you three names, for example, what do you, what do you really have? A new consultant, right? I want you guys to think this way. If you have a customer who gives you a bunch of people, say, you need to just be a consultant. You already got up, you already have three people. Let's just sign them up under you. Okay, get them going. All right. After you've connected with however many customers are your goal for the day, you're gonna to toggle over to consultants and you're gonna connect with your team. Same way, just building relationships, making their day, letting them know they're thinking about you. I mean, that you're thinking about them, let, letting them know you're present to help them, to support them in any way. You're proud of them. Oh, yes, I saw you got a new customer. Good for you. Whatever. Connect with your team. Prospects, then customers, then consultants every day. Now, if you're new and you don't have a lot of customers and consultants, then what you want to do is, is just focus on prospects for now. Okay? Like when you've connected with your customers and consultants in two weeks, the first two weeks of Teamsy and you're out, <laughs> great. Just focus on prospects. Just up the number of prospects for now. Make sense? Okay. So the first half of our power hour is prospects, customers, consultants, just the outgoing messages. Okay. The second half of our power hour is our follow-ups list. Now you notice I don't have anybody on the follow-ups list yet. So let me talk to you about that real quick. So picture this. Let's say you had the same goal as me, 150,000. It's day one, first day of Teamsy, you messaged 19 people. Wow, that was fun. You're like, wow, I did that so quick. And then the, mess, then the responses start coming in. So you've got about you know, 10 people respond. You're, you're messaging with them. Day two comes, you message 19 people. Now you got 10 more people responding. Now you're working on 20 conversations. Wednesday comes, you message 19 people. Now you've got 30 conversations going. Now you're going, I hate Eric Johnson. Why am I doing, spending all day on Messenger? <laughs> right? By Friday, you've got 50 conversations going and you're like, I'm totally overwhelmed. Your husband's like, what's wrong with you? Why are you glued to that phone? You're like, I'm building an empire. Look, here's what I want you to know. Here's how this will work out best for you. This is what I did when I started. I did my power hour in the morning. I sent my messages in the morning and then I had two 30 minute times during the day where I answered messages and did nothing else for 30 minutes. That's it. So I had a full-time job. Any of you guys have full-time jobs? A couple of people? So I had a lunch break. So I did half my lunch break. Half my lunch break, I went to my office, hid in the corner and messaged, answered messages. The first, why did I not do it the whole lunch break? Because boy, if you got a job, the lunchroom is a great place to meet new customers and recruits for your business, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, because people are like, what is that thing you're doing? Oh my gosh. So, and then in the evening after dinner, I had another 30 minute block where I'd answer messages. And, and when I did that, it made me super efficient. So what happens in, this, in that time when you're answering these messages? You send out that first make your day message. People are like, hey, great to hear from you. Now it's your job to try to turn that into a conversation. Okay. So I'm, I just would ask something like, well, it's been forever. You know, what have you been up to? Send me an update. Something simple like that. What have you been up to? Send me an update. And then they would give you their update. What have you, been, have you done anything fun this summer? What have you, you know, what's going on? Or I saw, you've, I saw you've got four kids now on Facebook. They're adorable. Like just get a conversation going. Okay. And as you're having a commerce, just a conversation, I don't want you guys looking for the spot to throw your business at them. Just have a conversation with them. Be interested. Learn about them. Find out how they're, what's going on in their lives. They'll tell you exactly what they need, right? They'll tell you if they're not happy with their job or they wish they had more freedom or whatever. They'll tell you all that in the conversation if you listen. And your job is just to find a way to help them in the conversation, just to listen, find a way to help them, okay? Now, how do you talk about your business to get them onto that follow-ups list? I'm gonna teach you that right now as quick as I can. I know we've been on the call a long time already. Here's how you do it. They're telling me all about their life, their family, their job, their summer, great. Now it's my turn. Is that a natural thing? What about you, Eric? I'm gonna tell them what's going on in my life. And what I want you to do is when you tell them what's going on in your life, tell them what you do and why you're passionate about it. What you do and why you're passionate about it. I have a, I have a, new, I have a new home-based business now. 
this is what I do and why I'm so passionate about it. Tell some stories. Tell some stories. If you started yesterday and don't have any stories, I'm sure you heard stories. Why the heck did you sign up? Right? You know some stories, so tell some stories of how it's impacted people's lives if it hasn't done yours yet. Or the best, though, is when you have your, create your own and you get to tell people how it's impacted your life. What I do and why I'm passionate about it. Why is that the best way to tell, talk about your business? First of all, it's totally natural in the conversation. They're telling you what they're doing, what they're up to in life. You're telling them what you're up to in life. But when you tell people what you do and why you're passionate about it, their response is always going to be like, wow, good for you. That's awesome. I'm so, I'm so proud of you. How many of you wish that everybody you told about your business, that was their response? Right? But it is when you do it this way. Oh, wow. That's so cool. I'm proud of you. That's great. Perfect. So now you can just ask them, hey, would you like more information about any, any of this? I think, you, you know, based on what you said, you'd be great at this. Would you like to learn more? Have you ever thought of doing something like this? Right? Would you like to learn more about these products that I mentioned? Sounds like you might be interested. Would you like more info? info? Just ask them. If they say yes, great. We're going to now invite them to something and put them on our follow-ups list. If they say no, good for you, but I'm not really interested right now, no problem. Hey, it was great connecting with you, and then I want you to plant the seed. If you do come across somebody, though, that needs help in this area, could you connect us? I want to help as many people as I can. You just plant that seed, and they go, oh, yeah, I'll do that. It's just so it's non-threatening to them. They feel good about it. They had a great conversation, and guess what? They come back on Team Z in two months. You start a new conversation with them. Sometimes it just takes a while. You just keep connecting, enjoying the relationship, and you'll be amazed what happens. Now, with the people who say, yeah, I am interested, we're going to invite them to something, okay, and um, put it in Teams. Let me show you how to do that real quick, and then we'll do a Q&A. So look, just for example, let's say um, Valerie says, yeah, I'm intrigued. Great. <laughs> There's probably not. Do you guys have a lot of men doing this business? Not a lot of men. So pretend I'm, pretend I'm one of your girlfriends, Valerie, for this one so we don't make it awkward. <laughs> Would you like to come over to my house for my event, my party? She's like, no. <laughs> All right, but you get the idea. So she's interested. So I'm going to invite her to an event. So let's say I've got a party coming up. I'm going to invite her to the party. So I say, well, look, you know, if you'd like to learn more, I mean... I'm having a gathering, a get together this weekend. It's going to be fun. You know, we're going to have some appetizers and drinks and we're going to, I'll show some of the products. It's just going to be fun time. And while you're there, you can learn about the business. You can get some information. She's like, oh yeah, that sounds really great, Eric. Send me that. Okay, great. So here's what I'm doing in Teamsy. When I go to my dashboard, you notice she's not there anymore. I've already connected with her. She's gone into the Teamsy system, but I can get to her anytime just by looking her up. Okay. Just by looking her up. That takes me to her full contact record. So this, this has all our contact notes and the, all of our conversations logged. Everything's there. But what I want to do here is I'm going to open this connect box here so that I can invite her to this party. So I'm just going to log. I'm going to actually log the invite here. So I've invited her through Facebook or whatever. So here we go. I'm going to invite her to this party. I'm just going to put a note here. Um, send info for, I don't know, when is the party going to be? The party is on October 12th. All right. So I'm sending her that info and I'm logging this party as an invite. So when I click on invite and log it as party, it's now setting this up as an invite in the system and it's logging, putting her on my follow-ups list. See the follow-ups list set up. So it's automatically put one two days from now. You can change that to any date in the future you want. Okay. Let's say, let's say the party is Let's just say the party's tonight and I'm going to follow up tomorrow to make it simple. She's coming tonight. I said, great. I'm going to set my follow-up for tomorrow then. And I'm going to log this in Teams. Okay. So now you can see on my dashboard, I've got an invite logged. Okay. So it's logged there. And if I go to my follow-ups list, you can see she's on my list now set at due tomorrow to follow up with. Make sense? Pretty easy, right? Okay. That means that she's no longer on my prospects list. This has moved her now to my follow-ups list. So tomorrow when I do my power hour, <clears throat> I do the same thing. I connect with the first nine prospects that come up, the first six customers that come up. Again, those are the goals that I set. The consultants that come up, and then I go to my follow-ups list and see if I have any follow-ups due. Oh, Valerie will be due, so I'm going to follow up with her. 
I do this the same way I do a regular connect. I'm going to go to scripts and I'm just going to get a follow-up script. Number one, here it is. Hi, Jane, just checking in like I promised I would. What questions do you have for me? Little pro tip about following up. Always tell people you will follow up and tell them when you will follow up. Then when you do it, you're keeping a promise. It's very powerful psychologically. Okay. Just check it in like I, pro Look, I got the name right. Do you guys see how easy this is? Now I'm going to actually send this to her on Facebook so you get the idea. Again, if I wanted to text her or something, I could do that too through my texting app. I like Facebook Messenger though. The response was really good. So look, there's my follow-up. It's sent the same way. Now, when I log this in Teamsy, pay attention to this piece, set the new follow-up. Always set a new follow-up because I want to keep her on this follow-ups list because she's a hot lead. So let's say I follow up now, two days from now, set that or follow up again in two days. I can leave myself a note so I know what I'm talking about. I don't have to think. So I'll put up that I want to send follow-up number two. Okay, so now she's on my list for Saturday. Do you guys see how easy that is? So you start conversations, you have conversations. When you uncover some interest, invite them to something and then put them on your follow-ups list and then follow up like a pro. Now, real quick on following up. I showed you how easy it is in Teams. You saw that I have scripts in there, right? I actually put 10 follow-up scripts in there for you and they're numbered one through 10. You just send them in order. Seriously, that's it and it works. Okay, um, I want you guys to understand that the follow-up is where most people mess this up because they just don't follow up enough. You've heard this, you guys know this. Here's, here's the, the actual amount of times you need to follow up with people minimum is 10. 10, people are going to hate me for that, right? How many of you are worried you'll be annoying, you'll be a pest at 10 follow-ups? Um, I'm going to, I'll teach you how to do it real quick so that people love it. They love your follow-ups, okay? They will love them. You just have to do it in a way that's not annoying. So I'll teach you the two principles, but here's what I want you guys to understand. If you truly believe you can help people, you can't actually help them if they don't make that first step, can you? And statistically, 80% of sales happen between the seventh and 10th follow-up, which means 80% of the people that you'd like to help, you will not help unless you follow up enough. This is why I want you guys to understand this concept. Following up is an act of love. Following up is an act of love. It's not about trying to get a sale. It's about trying to help people. This is how you do it. Make sense? Now, how to do it without being annoying? Simple, two principles, two principles. The first principle is this, never ask someone to do anything in the follow-up. Don't ask them to call you, don't ask them to respond, don't ask them to RSVP for your party, don't ask them to do anything. They don't have to do anything. All they have to, the only thing they're required to do is see your message, that's it, okay? Because think about it, when people ask you to call them back or whatever, it's kind of annoying sometimes, depending if you're busy or whatever. The second principle is this, a follow-up message should always be written out. They always need to be able to read it. No voice messages, no video messages, okay? Has to be able to be read and it has to be really short so they can see the whole thing without opening it, okay? Because here's, what, here's what's really happening. You have somebody who's interested, this has probably happened to you guys. Have you guys ever had a, somebody who's really interested and then when you start following up, you get nothing, no response, just crickets? And you're like, what happened? It's really, it's really common. I would say 80% of the people are like that. And it's not because they're not interested or, or they don't like you or whatever. It's just because your message comes at a moment when they're busy. That's all. Have you guys missed messages and not responded? Yeah. So your message comes in a moment when they're busy and they can't respond to you right now. So what happens is most people won't open that message because they don't want, they know they're not gonna respond right now. They don't wanna open it because they don't want you to see that they've seen it yet. So they don't want to feel like a jerk, right? So when people are not opening your messages, they're not ignoring you, they're just not opening them. So what we do is we send our messages so short and written so they can read it. Even if they don't open it, they'll see it because no matter how busy they are, they want to look at the message, right? 
And I always think, you know, um, I, I always picture myself like cooking, right? And you've got like raw chicken and your hands in the raw chicken. You're, that's like, you're not going to touch your phone, but you're still going to look over at the phone and read the message, aren't you? That's, so just picture that. People want to see the message. So if you send them the message, don't ask them to do anything. Keep it short and sweet and written. They'll get the message. That's all you care about. Because here's what happens. Every time they get your message, they, they remember you with a smile. They remember that they're excited about the business or the products. And then, they go, then their life takes them back over. So over time, every time they get that, that, first of all, they start to believe you when you said you cared and that you'd follow up. Yeah, wow, she really is. The consistency that builds trust, you're showing that. And typically what will happen is 20% of the people will respond within the first couple of days. Those are the customers you already have, right? 80% won't respond at all till the sixth or seventh follow-up. 80%, you guys, eight out of 10. And what'll happen is that first response will be, I'm so sorry I haven't responded to your messages. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for following up. I appreciate it. And at that point, you'll, you'll go, oh, he was right. But of course, that's not going to happen for till two months in the future from right now if you start tonight <laughs> before you get to that seventh one. But you'll know. It's true. It works. So with Teamsy, here's what you do every day, guys. And then we'll, if you have questions, I'll answer some, and then I'll send you on your way. You get in there. You, you get everybody in there. You set up your list. You're done. You just log in. You can log in on your phone or your computer, and you just send your messages out to the people on your list, the people that you're having conversations with who are interested. Put them on that follow-ups list. So the second half of your power hour, you answer any follow you send any follow-ups that are due. You keep people on that follow-ups list forever if you need to, because some people will take a long time to close. Some people won't. You just send them the next follow-up, send them the next follow-up, right? And just keep going. And what will happen is, excuse me, every month there will be people in that pipeline that convert. Every month. And you'll consistently build your team, you'll consistently build your business every month it compounds. Does this make sense? Every month you comp it compounds. So remember those numbers that I showed you in the beginning, 21 customers and nine recruits over 90 days. That's the average result. Pretty good, right? Pretty good. So get in there for your free trial action steps. Get your free trial started with Teamsy, teamsy.com. It's free. Anybody that you have on your team that's not on this call, get them in that free trial with you. I highly recommend you get an accountability partner or two to do the free trial together. Say, let's do this together. Share your goals. This is how many people I'm going to connect with a day. How about you? And then what I want you to do is when you've done it, you take a screenshot of your completed Teamsy dashboard and message it over to your success team. They'll do the same to you. This way in 30 days, you'll, have a, you'll be cranking. If you don't do that, what typically might happen is you'll sign up for the free trial right now because you're excited because you just saw me teach. And then you'll log in twice over the next 30 days. How many of you guys, that's what you've done in the past, that kind of thing. So get a success partner to really push each other, okay? There's six of you on the call. You guys can probably team up as well. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a five-day challenge. It's really simple. I want you to use Teamsy five days in a row every day for five days. And I want you to connect with at least 20 people in Teamsy. Now, look, you don't need to do 100 the first day, just 20 a day for five days. But if you do that, you will create so much momentum. You'll be blown away, by the way. You will be blown away by how many conversations you're having. I want you guys to understand it only takes about five days to create massive momentum in your business. You need to know that for yourself and you need to know that for the people you're bringing onto your team. I just recently um, talked to an executive at, at a, one of the bigger um, networks. We were talking about doing a training for their, um, for their entire network for Australia and New Zealand. And they saw the results that people are getting with Teamsy. They're really excited about the results people are getting with Teamsy. And, and when you talk to these executives of these companies, they acknowledge that only about 10% of their distributors are really building their teams actively, right? And I shared with this, this executive my belief, which is if you could get people their first month when they're excited into a system that can get them five, $600 that first month, I think that number could be 20, 25, 30%. If we could get people that check and that excitement their first month, make sense? So that's what I think you guys could do right now with this free trial in Teamsy. Get in there and crank it. 
have a great month. Take a little portion and continue with Teams afterwards. Subscribe to us so we can keep helping you, right? But in the meantime, how many, how many of you are in for the five-day challenge? Let me see your hands up, public accountability. All right, we got, we peer pressured Clarice into it. It's all good. Hey, good, positive peer pressure is good, right? Hey, peer, just a little side note. We all are victims of peer pressure. The question is, are you intentional about who your peers are so that you're being pushed in the right direction? There's a deep thought for the day. All right, who's got questions? Does anyone have any questions? If you do have a couple questions, go ahead and unmute and ask away. I'll take a few and then we'll bless you and send you on your way. I have a question. Fire away. All right. Um, I had signed up and did the trial for 30 days back in May. And I used it. I loaded all my people in and all that. But I didn't really know what I was doing. And I used it one day. <laughs> and I got two responses. And they both came back with parties, which blew me away right then and there. Um, but then my daughter had a baby. And I was away from my computer. My time trial fell out and I haven't been able to get back in. Would it be possible for me to be able to come back and do a 30 day trial again and figure out me? I don't know if I need to delete all my contacts and then reload them so I can actually put them where they need to be. Um, first off, you used it one day and you got two parties. I did. And can then, I just take a moment to reflect on that? That was pretty that, awesome. That result. just blew me away. I was freaked out. I was just like, oh, holy moly, this is amazing. And How I, many of you guys don't believe, can't believe that she stopped using it? I, I can't believe I stopped using it, but I had to, but I was in a, I had to go to another state and I didn't take laptop because it was family yeah. stuff. But I was just, at the same time, I'm thinking, oh my God, I cannot believe how fast that worked. And it, it was like, I had only sent out 10 because I thought, oh, well, I'll give it a try because I don't really know what I'm doing. And the yeah. first two responses was, oh, my God, I haven't heard from you for a while. I was just thinking of you. I need to book a party. And I was just like, holy shit. Excuse me. Holy, holy cow. It's okay. I can't believe it worked. And I, I was just like, okie dokie then. And I thought, man, this has got me. But now I got to refigure all my people because I just put them all in as threes or fours or fives or something like that. I didn't even know what I was doing Yeah, because I didn't take the time to go through the scaling like you had just shown. Yeah. So I was just wondering if I want to try it again. And I, well, obviously I'm going to end up doing it again, obviously, but um, can I delete all my people and then put them back in so I don't have to go through the list? Cause there was like 1200 people I loaded. I wouldn't delete them. I would just start working with the people that are already in there. But you know what you can do is <clears throat> send an email to uh, support at teamsy.com. Okay. And ask them to renew your trial. They'll renew it for you. I appreciate that, Eric. Yeah. I really do. I wouldn't I'm reload them. I would just, you know, I would just um, work with who you've got. Now you can, in, you can import people again. It won't duplicate the ones you already have. It'll just bring the new people okay. in. So okay. you've already got all the data in there. I would just start working with it. You can okay. re-rank anytime. Like you can get in there and get it organized. It's like, look, this is the way I, I tell people. We recently moved into our dream home. Like, uh, uh, what is it? Gosh, almost a year ago. We moved in September last year. It feels like we just moved. <clears throat> and it was a pain. Have you guys, isn't moving a pain? It was yeah. a pain. And so it, you don't really feel like you live here until you've unpacked and put stuff away. And then it's home. That's the same thing with Teamsy. It's like you, but you got the new home. You got everything in boxes still. The dishes are still in cardboard boxes wrapped in newspapers, um, which is fine. You just need to go home and unpack it and then you're ready to cook. Okay. Make sense. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Any other, any, anyone else have questions? That's a great story though. I love that. I only used it one day. I got two parties. And I can't believe I quit, but you know, baby's call. So <laughs> but that um, just shows you that just demonstrates something though, that you've been sharing on social media. People have been seeing it. They're aware mm -hmm. of what you're doing, but people are waiting to, for you to connect personally with them. See, it's like, I tell people, it's like, people are watching you. You're like a reality TV show. Until See, you, I get, I get, until you no. connect, they're, they're watching you on TV. They're not connected to you. As soon as you connect, it's like, wow, they're in it with you. Right. And I get no interaction on Facebook if I put products or something like that out or 
you know, something like that. But as soon as I personal messaged, it was just like, then they started coming in and I was like, wow. Now, what's the difference? I went ahead and I loaded my, um, my CVS or C CSV from my clients. Now, mm -hmm. what's the difference between that and loading Facebook? I don't want all my Facebook friends in there, do I? Uh, Into for, yeah, I mean, I for me, putting your Facebook friends in is awesome because, <clears throat> because um, you can just start messaging those people like crazy. There, I mean, there may be some people you want to delete out of there, which is fine. Okay. But um, yeah, I mean, that was when we built Teamsy, that was the thing I was most excited about was getting my Facebook list into Teamsy and working in an organized way. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I mean, I would put them all in there and just start messaging them. Some of those okay. Facebook friends you barely know, which is fine. I just, I, people go, how do we know each other? We're Facebook friends. I thought I'd say hi. Oh, okay. I had this conversation with somebody. So uh, just so you guys know, I'm not in direct sales. I just do Teamsy now. Um, I was a Beachbody coach uh, four, four and a half years ago. And then Teamsy took off and I had to just do Teamsy. But I messaged this woman. I had no idea who she was. But she was Facebook friends with me. And I don't just, I don't accept random Facebook friend requests. So I thought we must have been connected somehow. So um, I messaged her, you know, that message I just showed you guys that, hey, you know, how are you? Hope you're having a great day. And she said, how do we know each other? I said, I don't know, but we're Facebook friends. I've been trying to figure it out. So we had this messaging back and forth. I said, well, did you know this? Have you been in real estate? Yeah, I've been in real estate. Oh, well, that's how we must know each other because I've worked in the real estate industry 16 years coaching people. And then we tried to figure out who we knew in common. Nobody. We could not figure it out. And then eventually she says, so you're, you do Beachbody? And I said, yeah. And she's like, yeah, I'm looking at your Facebook page right now. She goes, I need help there. I need to lose 20 pounds. Great. So <laughs> here's the thing. Like we had this conversation. It wasn't creepy or anything. It was just like, I said, hi. She's like, who are you? I said, I don't know. I just thought I'd say hi since I don't know who you are either. And then we, she ended up purchasing stuff for me. Gotcha. You know? Does Facebook have a... Can you download a CSV on Facebook or just no? But you can download your you can download your friends list and Teamsy knows knows how to deal with those Facebook files. You put it right into you don't have to convert it. You put it right into Teamsy. Oh, cool. Okay, thank you. Can you download? So if you have like a group like our VIP groups, can you download? If they're not on your friends list on Facebook, can you download those that are in your group? No, Facebook doesn't let you do that. Okay, but you can add people. So, I mean, you can get in there and just be adding people. So um, there's an add contact button at the top of Teamsy. So as you meet, as you want to just put people in, as you meet them, you just click that and you just put them right into Teamsy one at a time. So you can always be, if you're in a group and someone's interacting, add them to Teamsy right then. Some people are on Instagram all the time. So if you're having a conversation on Instagram, put that person in Teamsy so that you can remember to follow up and keep connecting with them. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So that's the key is that, you're always adding people. You get all your lists in to start. And then you're now, once you're going, you know, you get a new friend on Facebook or whatever, put them right in Teamsy at that same moment. So they're in there. Okay. The contact list, once it's up on Teamsy, does it back up to a file? Like maybe that we could download later on if needed. Uh, you can download your, your contacts at any time from Teamsy. That's one of the, one of the, you know, um, security things that are, that we do, that we legally do, it's part of the deal. Any data you put in Teamsy belongs to you, not us. So you always have access to download it. It downloads into a into basically like a spreadsheet. Um, of course, you're not gonna you're that's not gonna be you as useful to you as having it in Teamsy. The only reason you would right. do that is if you wanted to take it and go. But let me just show you guys what this looks like on the phone, real quick. So here's my phone. I've got the Teamsy website saved to my de to my desktop. I'll just get logged in. Here. So when you're in Teamsy on your desktop, you have your day's goals right there. Okay, your power hour. So if I want to connect with somebody, it's just like it's just on my phone. I can go to scripts and get a script. Okay. I love that. 
So and yeah, you can put your too. own you can put your own scripts in here too, by the way. Did you see that was a this is actually my old Beachbody account? So look at this is actually that script was actually oh. one of my um, scripts from when I was doing Beachbody. Mm. So oh, I I entered that in there. So you'll have stuff like this that you make that you use all the time. So if you have emails that you send people all the time, for example, mm -hmm. like um, you just have them in here as scripts and you can send them actually through a Gmail account through Teams, which is kind of neat. So that's one of the things that I always did was um, if I was talking to somebody and they were interested, I had an email that had like, here's how you sign up as a distributor, step by step by step. Here's the links. And so when they were like ready, I go, great, I'm going to send you the email right now. I open up Teams, script number 12, put their name in and send it. They're like, wow, right on top, right on top of it. So you can send an email through Teamsy? Teamsy? You can. Yeah, you can, you can link a Gmail account and send emails through Teamsy. And I just adore you for taking my very squirrely brain and making it exactly how I've always needed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, you know, I've been, I mentioned at the beginning, I've been a business coach for 16 years. And I've helped people build this, build systems to do relationship marketing. They've all been custom. You know what I mean? And so it's like, okay, well, you need to be in contact with everybody. Let's figure out a way to do that. And almost everybody, and I worked a lot mostly with real estate, uh, big real estate teams. And so instead of teams, they had a, they had a full-time assistant they paid 50 grand to who would put names, a list of names on their desk every day, right? So you guys don't have to do that. You get it for, for less than a dollar a day to have somebody have teams you do it for you. Here's who to connect with today. Just, just picture the assistant coming in and saying, here's, here's everything you need to do today for your power hour for business so you get it done. And that's Teamsy. That's so cool. I love this. I do. Keep it organized. Oh my gosh. It seems so much better. It's, mobile. it's organized and it's mobile. Because we can do it when we go to national training next week. I know, oh, I'm yeah. sorry, I can't, I just moved, so I want to see you girls in sad face, but it's not I'm, happening. I'm not going to be there, but it, it helps because I'm forgetful, <laughs> not super organized, so <laughs> this, yeah. this, this helps a lot. And reaching out to people, to me, the problem that I have, too, is I, I want to reach out to more people, but the scripts, I mean, I'm not very good as far as, like, the verbiage, I'm just like, you know, hey, what's up, you know, having the scripts there, and if you can tell me, okay, these, these are your high priority list, contact these people first. Yep. I mean, because I can contact random people on Facebook and I get nothing out of it just because, you know, I mean, we get so many friends on Facebook from friends of friends or, yeah, you know, I've, I've still got friends, friend requests that I'm not even going to respond to, but mm -hmm. I, I do look, I get random requests from, I get random requests from guys you know, okay. so, um, that I don't even answer, but anyway, having, having, it, having it organized and having it just laid out as easy as you can with the scripts you can use. Yes. Fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. You know? um, is there a limit on how many scripts we can add or no? No, you can add as many as you want. Thank you. So we can add our own scripts to it too. I just had a team in Puerto Rico translate all hundred of my scripts <clears throat> and um, and send it to me to to upload them into their um, network. So so their network now has them in Span Puerto Rican Spanish. <laughs> how do you add, how do you it's add different. It's different everywhere, it's right? But I mean, I'm Cuban and Puerto Rican. It's very different. Yeah, but they have uh, you know they have twenty thousand people in Puerto Rico doing this. This is for Juice Plus. So I'm like, yeah, great. Use it. Nice. Spread the word. And they don't say that they don't talk exactly like me, and that's fine. I've got people in, in England, they're like, we don't say awesome. It's so American. Your scripts all say awesome. I'm like, that's because I, I think everything's awesome. So just change it to great. I hope you're having a great day. Oh, I can do that? I'm like, yeah, just say great day. Okay, I'll say great day. How do you add your own scripts to it? If you're going to add. Go into scripts, and there's a button that says add script. Okay. Do you see it? You want me to show you? Okay. Yeah, if you would. New script right there. Wait, okay. So okay, now just a little script? pro tip on this. When you add scripts, make sure you add the tags. See there's tags right here? So is this script gonna be for prospects? And how are you gonna use it? 
Facebook, text, you know, however you're going to use it. Because okay. if you add the tags, now that will come up automatically. If you're in a prospect record, it'll come up at the top. If you add no tags, you're going to go, where are my scripts? Because okay. they're not tagged, they're at the bottom of the list. Do you even have Snapchat on there? <laughs> I just what that. scripts do you have for Snapchat? Yeah, Snapchat. Snapchat scripts are the same as Facebook scripts. Okay, so is there a difference between, you know, the texting and the Facebook as far as the scripts, or are they all the same? They're about the same scripts. It's just how you're going to log it, you know. It's just so, okay. hey, I'm going. So um, the text scripts, the Facebook Messenger scripts, the Instagram Instant Message scripts, those are the same scripts. Okay. That's just a different, it's just a different direct messaging application. But those are basically direct message scripts. That makes sense. Okay. How do you email through Teamsy? So what you do is you're going to come into Teamsy and let's say I'm going to send an email to Valerie. I'll go to activity. If I click on email, that's just a log that I sent an email. But if I click on send email, you're going to, this will come up and it's going to ask you to connect your Gmail account to Teamsy. So you want to make sure you're logged into Gmail on your computer. And when you click this, it will log in your Gmail. It'll connect your Gmail and then you can send, then it'll send emails. So let me just go and do it. Awesome. Thank you. So look, if I sign into e to, to my email. So you got to give Google permission. So it's asking, okay, is it okay for Teams to send an email on your behalf? Okay, allow that. Pretty cool, right? So now let me look yes, her up and I'll send her an email so I can show you how cool this is. So send email. So and then I just type an email and I send it. Now the other thing I can do is I can get a script. Watch this. I can get a script like this one. And um, I can click send as email and it loads that into my email. Oh. So now I can just go. Valerie, it's been a pleasure working with you. I want you to know I'd be honored to help any of your friends or family too. If you could think of anyone who would benefit from unparalleled sensual products and bedroom accessories, or even just someone to talk to about their goals, please message me with their name and contact info. I'll take it from there. Sound good? I like that. Look Thank at you. you. Unparalleled sensual products. I love it. Like that? Yeah, I wrote those myself. <laughs> it's kind of sexy. I like it. <laughs> oh, you know what? I can't actually send this because I don't have your email address in Teamsy, but that's how it works. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, actually, you guys know Lisa Sazani? Yes. So she was in one of my boot camps and she helped me with getting the right keywords so that I could get those scripts. I Google, I, I was giggling with her. I go, I'm sitting here just totally blushing, trying to write scripts for you guys. <laughs> I didn't even realize we had, there was a separate one for pure romance either when I started my trial. There might I not have been. Um, it's only a few months old. Oh, so, so sweet. When I start my new one, then I'll just, I'll sign for that one. That yeah, or yeah, or you can just sign into your old one, and then and um, when you ask for them to redo it, I also ask them to move you. They'll just move your data over to Pure Romance. Oh, so we thank you. Yeah. yeah, so that happened because uh, Lisa was in my boot camp, and she was she was the um, so I do a boot camp every every quarter where I bring leaders in and, and for 12 weeks, basically we coach them in a private Facebook group, hold them accountable. And she was like the rock star of the group. I think she was the number one um, activity person for the whole group. And so I said, I have to do pure real ones just for you. Oh my gosh. Also. So we created, we spun it off for her a couple weeks in and she was like, Oh my gosh, I have my own, my own version. And then I was like, but I need help with these scripts. So we messaged back and forth a little bit on the scripts. I was like, how do you, what do you call this? You know, like what's the term? So um, yeah, that's where we got those, those, those words. Do you guys like those though? Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I thought it was cool. You probably use those terms already. I'm excited to see what the terms are now. <laughs> but what did we say? Unparalleled sensual products and bedroom accessories. I think oh, okay. <laughs> didn't make you blush, did it? Yeah, it did. Oh. I'm probably <laughs> blushing right now. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you guys. Tonight. Any other questions before I send you off? Thank you. Valerie, Thank you. you're muted.
I kept sitting here talking to myself. Nobody was answering me, but okay. So what email do we send to you and ask them to move us over to the Pure Romance scripts or the Pure Romance program? Version. What do you call it? Version. Yeah. Just uh, support at teamsy.com support at teamsy.com and just say, can you please move me to the Pure Romance version of Teamsy? Yay. Okay. I will do that too. They'll get it done. You'll have it done tomorrow. Awesome. Everything will be exactly the same. Just the terms will be correct and the scripts will be correct. No scripts. Love it. Okay. Thanks. Who's going to do the 30 days and wants to be a goal buddies? Come on. I do. I want to be a goal they'll buddy. Do. I, they're still here with me an hour later. <laughs> what would be the point of that if you're not going to do the free trial? What a waste of your life, right? Right. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for giving me a chance to talk to you tonight. I hope it was helpful. It was. Hopefully, um, it helps you help a lot of people. That's what we're all about. Thank you. So God bless yeah. you all. Have a great night. We'll talk thank to you, you soon. So Valerie, I'll send you this recording um, probably in the morning. Okay. Thank you. Sure thing. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.